principals from Admiral Hill Primary School. I'm Charlene, I'm Xuan Tong, I'm Benjamin, and I'm Ting Hao. Today, we will present to you our project titled An Investigation to Test the Burning Efficiencies of Biodiesel Made from Corn, Canola, and Vegetable Oil. Now, let's proceed to our introduction. Diesel is widely used in society as a fuel to generate electricity for trucks, buses, and machinery. However, the diesel fumes from these engines have always posed to be a risk to human health. According to a report by BBC News 2012, WHO confirmed that diesel fumes are a high cause for lung cancer as well as other related illnesses. Thus, this project focuses on an alternative source of energy, biodiesel. Biodiesel does not produce harmful gases into our environment. It can be easily produced and is renewable. Thus, our project seeks to find out the burning efficiency of three types of biodiesel, made from corn, canola and vegetable oil. Now, let me take you through the process of making biodiesel. First, pour 500 ml of corn oil into a beaker and heat it up to 50 degrees Celsius. Second, pour 110 ml of methanol and 2 grams of potassium hydroxide into a plastic bottle. Shake the bottle until all the contents have been dissolved. Next, pour the oil mixture and the methanol mixture into a blender and blend for 30 minutes. Repeat the process with canola and vegetable oil. Leave the mixture to set overnight. First, pour 20 ml of biodiesel into a metal cup. Then, secure a beaker with 100 ml of water to the retort stand. Place the temperature sensor into the beaker of water. Heat the biodiesel for about 5 minutes and then light it up. Once the biodiesel burns, start the data logger to track the temperature of the water. Record the temperature of the water at 1 minute intervals. Record the time when the biodiesel extinguished. Repeat this experiment to take at least 3 readings for each biodiesel made from corn, canola and vegetable oil. Based on the data collected, the average time taken for corn biodiesel to completely burn out was 14.02 minutes. This was followed by canola biodiesel at 13.02 minutes and vegetable biodiesel at 7.02 minutes. The time taken for all three types of biodiesel to boil the water to 100 degrees was between 5 to 6 minutes. Biodiesel made from corn oil, however, provided the most amount of heat energy as data showed the largest increase in water temperature within the shortest period of time. We know that biodiesel is a good substitute to diesel. In this project, we wanted to try producing biodiesel using different types of cooking oil. Though compared to petroleum diesel, biodiesel may not be as efficient in its burning. Research has shown that it can be blended with petroleum diesel in any proportion. In this way, lesser toxic gases will be emitted into the air. It was a pity we could not use the biodiesel we made on an actual engine. To better our project, further investigation could be done to compare the burning efficiency of biodiesel to petroleum diesel. We have come to the end of our presentation. Thank you!